ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Paz's Casa. I'm Paz Brown, and it's my casa. It's my house. What's good, y'all? Alright, tonight's video is Mail Day from Mr. Bevers right here. See that? I am a patron of his channel. He's got wicked smart ideas on cracking packs different ways. I might try and use one of them the way he does it once I get up there. But he's he's an intelligent ge gentleman, and I appreciate everything he's done for me. And uh, I'm doing a shout-out to him. Thank you, Mr. Bevers. You are the bomb, diggity. And let's get to cracking some packs. If you like my channel, you may also enjoy Mr. Bevers. So... If so, type in Mr. Bevers right here, or let's see here. There's a little disserp of uh, his description. Info right here. And uh, he's got Patreon and Twitch. Yeah, so uh, he's got many videos. I've been killing it on the videos, though. I... I've been very vigilant for the past, I'd say a year or two, at least two years, it's gotta be, but yes, Mr. Bevers, thank you, here we go, Kraken's packs, and checking out the mail, here we go, here we go, I love opening mail, you know what I mean, who doesn't, it's like a present, and you know, I, I honestly think it's like 10 to $12 for a patron tier. And it's so worth it. You know, he cracks packs throughout the week. Okay? And everything of a dollar or more value. I'm doing this after. A dollar more or more value. He puts it into a box. And at the end of the... Is it the month? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's... The, once the patron... Uh, amount come, gets taken out of your account that month. You're in the grab bag, pack, whatever it is. And he picks out 10, uh, 10 commons. I'll show you guys. But uh, it's so worth it. The crazy things that he's pulled for me. You know, each channel has a different way of uh, giving back to the community and... This is one of those. So, he deserves my money. I respect him a lot. So, we're going to start out with the commons, obviously. And I'd rather put money into this than paying, buying eBay and actually getting shafted. So, here we go. Alright, so... We got the Merfolk Secret Keeper. One. It's a great card. I love the story. Showcase art. Wow. You guys like the new lighting? Let me know. Can you guys see it a little bit better? I think it's a little bit brighter and I like it. But it's up to you guys. So let me know. So yes. The box giveaway. I'm excited. Very excited. So make sure everybody leaves a comment in the left side, strong side video. And you will be entered. Make sure you share or something on some type of social media f platform. And uh, yeah, we can do that. It is a, a standard. 60 card deck box and I'm thinking about you know I will sign the bottom of it if whoever wins it wants me to but I think it'd be awesome and then whoever wins it could actually like put stickers on it I think you know their favorite guild or something I think it's awesome I'm excited uh skirt commando that I don't know what the symbol is I can't believe I'm drawing a Blank. Drawing the void. 
That's what I was going to say. <clears throat> Ooh, I might be throwing this. Oh, maybe I am. Uh, into my... Damn. I'm having synapses tonight. A synapses when your brain is not firing properly. Been in a lot of pain today, so it really takes a toll on the body. Um, my Muldrotha deck. When I thought of the Simic, I was thinking big, stompy crap. And this is, you know, Void Grafter for three. It is Simic. Uh, creature Eldrazi Drone. Devoid. This card has no color. Flash. We all know what Flash does. Um, when Void Grafter enters the battlefield, another target creature you control gains hexproof until end of turn. That's pretty cool. I like it. And it looks like he's juggling. Or is that me? Doesn't it look like he's juggling something? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. You know, I did a, I did a, I, I'm starting like hell tonight. Sorry guys. Um, I watched, I know this is for Mr. Bevers, but I watched the command zone last night and the video that they had for content creators blew my mind. It was so awesome to hear all the info that they were telling us, uh, headlong rush, one in a red. Instant Urza's Saga. I love Urza's. All attacking creatures gain first strike until end of turn. That's pretty cool. The artwork could be more vibrant, I think. What do you guys think? I like the darker cards, but, you know, I have faith that they could have done a little bit better. Minimal... Scroll Keeper. Oh, look at the heads. I need a pointy thing. You know what? Uh, let me see here. Where is it? Right here. We're going to use the Drago Games pen. Shout out Drago Games. See that? Blah. Yeah. I am what I am. Okay. So sue me. I think this is a uh, Kamigawa. All right. So for one in blue, I like the the the, the face masks over here, and then they get the shadowing. I want to start drawing again. I really loved it. Creature, human, wizard, defender for two. Your maximum hand size increases by one. That's awesome. I like it a lot. I think I might put that into a deck. Alright, and then we've got Hammer Heim Deadeye for four. Creature, giant warrior. There's not many giant, you know, commanders out there. Uh it's got Echo. I don't know I don't know what Echo is, so let's find out. Five in red. At the beginning of your upkeep. If this creature under your control since the beginning of your last upkeep. Did I miss a line? Probably. At the beginning of your upkeep. If this came under your control since the beginning of your last upkeep. Sacrifice it unless you pay its echo cost. When Hammer Heim... Deadeye enters the battlefield. Destroy target creature with flying. That's pretty cool. I like it. Kind of got reach, wouldn't you say? It's got the reach. Reach out and touch somebody. Fugitive wizard. Wow. It's like a Medusa with man face. That's what I'm calling it. Blue creature wizard. A little bit of text. I'm not sure what the symbol is. I need to do some research on the symbols. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's a fugitive. And then look at that. Assigned white alt token. Or 
signed white plains land all right well that's that those are the commons i'm loving it thank you mr rivers those will go to good use all right so we're gonna start just like this first one is a rare daring thief for three human rogue inspired whenever daring thief becomes untapped you may exchange control of target non-land permanent you control and target permanent and opponent controls that shares a set card type with G's and opponent controls that shares a card type with it. Okay. Moving on up. Zendikar Resurgent. I'm going to be opening some of that tonight. Right? No. Shadows. What am I thinking? Dragons? Uh, sorry, guys. Having a rough night. Alright, for seven. Enchantment. When you tap a land for mana, add one mana to your mana pool of any type that land produced. I like it. When you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Hells, yeah. Like it. And it's not always about the price of the cards. I will say that until I'm blue in the face. Just like that Zendikar Resurgence. I don't think it's worth a lot, but it it can be played. That's what I enjoy. Oh, look at the artwork on this. Shielded Aether Thief. For two, which is one in a blue. Creature Videlkin Rogue. It's an uncommon flash. Whenever Shield Aether Thief blocks, you get an energy counter. Tap it. Pay three energy counters to draw a, light, draw a card. And it's a defense fodder. What do you call it that? But look at the beautiful artwork. Glimmering. I like it. Okay, moving on. Uh, mutagenic growth. Ooh. That's the... Isn't that a poison? Or Phyrexian. Alright, so... Blat. Can be paid with either one or... A mountain. Oh my god. Good job, Paz. <laughs> Alright. Can be paid with... A forest or two life. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. I think there's better spells out there. Instance. That can definitely do just as well. This is a great card. I love it. I'm so glad I won it. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Swamp. Full art. Land card. It's beautiful. Like... <laughs> Why wouldn't you want one of these? It's I would like to go that's like the Florida Glades if it had snow because there's white on the trees. You know, and I like the symbol. Way to go, Mr. Bevers. And then last but not least, we've got a foil rare, which is Mantris Gargoyle. We've seen these already, but it's a great card. So, two, flying. Gargoyle can't attack unless defending player has seven or more cards in their graveyard. Ventress Gargoyle can't be blocked unless you have four or more cards in your hand. And then tap. Each player puts a top card of their library into the graveyard. So you're milling them so that then you can get this out. Or allowed to, to attack. Alright. There's that. So, pause for cause like Wizard of Oz. I'm going to be right back so we can do this. And we're back. Just like that. Licky slit. But that. Alright. So, I've got the same cards I got from Black... Oh my goodness. From Drago Games. 
We got five packs of each. So we get to do two nights of heavenly bliss. Two, four, five. Two, four, five. Right there. And we are letting the dice choose which side we're going with. So I kind of made sure I put all the dragons in the same. There were only two, but I figured that would be kind of cool. So... And we're gonna roll. Let's see what it comes out as. Oh, I didn't even say it. So evens odds. Lucky number eleven. Odds it is. This one will be for another video. All right. I'm excited. Are you excited? So yes, I learned a lot from the video from Command Zone guys are into making content or just enjoying their content period go ahead and check them out oh, command zone's been around for what three four years five years something like that maybe it's three years they definitely have a lot of panache and style about them when it comes to Magic the Gathering. Alright, so... Let's... Charge of Broken Glass. That's right. Oh, gone missing. We've been gone missing. Alright. Elms of the Vein. There we go. Reduced to Ashes. Confront the Unknown. We do that every day when we get out of the house. Dead weight. Here we go. Runaway Carriage. Go get it! That kind of could have been good in uh, Throne of Eldraine too, because it's having to do with carriages. Uh, for four, artifact creature can construct trample whenever a runaway carriage attacks or blocks. Sacrifice it at end of combat. Sacrifice it at end of combat. So you get one turn with it. Huh. Okay. Whatever's. Uh, Rise of the Tides. Very cool card. Sure, six. Sorcery put a 2 2 black zombie creature on a tap token onto the battlefield. Tapped for each instant or sorcery card in your graveyard. That could be pretty nasty. Spiteful motives for four. Enchantment aura. Alright, so here's an error that I see all the time. The red bleeding through onto the white. So if you look, uh, let's see here. Let's get it up on there. Oh man! All right. So there's. It's definitely can be seen in this area. See like specking specks of it. But there's like red tints here. Just something I notice. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that too, because that's usually how you can tell a card was. Like, either at the beginning of the run or the end of the run. Because more ink will start to get down onto the plates. Alright, what's our rare? Harness the Storm for three enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, you may cast target card with the same name as that spell from the graveyard. That's pretty cool. Ooh, and we've got the flip card. Um, accused Witch. For three. Three and a swamp. Spells your opponent cost. Opponent's cast. That accused witch costs one less to cast. Okay. When accused witch dies, return it to the battlefield. Transformed under your control. Attached to target opponent. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so we got Infectious Curse. Enchanted player spells you cast the target enchanted player costs one less to cast. And then uh, at the beginning of your enchanted player's upkeep, that player loses one life and you gain one life. So that's pretty cool. I like it. And we got a clue. 
I better get a clue. Jeez. The way I'm talking tonight. Sorry, folks. I hope y'all are doing good. Uh, I'm definitely ready for Christmas now. I've gotten all everybody taken care of. Um, yeah. Greenside Watcher. We have the thief. Shambles Shark. Oh, it's a fish crab instead of shark to crab. I'm going to take that out. Put that there. Shattering Blow. Simic Gilgate. Oh, that artwork is wicked. Oh, I'm already at 20 minutes. Damn. I like the artwork, though. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see. Get it just right. Where the hell? All right. Right there. Beautiful. I love it. I don't know. I just love it. Ring the bell. All right. So there's that. Tiger. Court Street Denizen. Wildwood Rebirth. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Nimbus Swimmer. X and two. Wow, Nimbus Swimmer. And it's a battlefield with X. One, one counters on it. And it's flying. Oh my god, it's just like a... What is it? Hydroid Crisis? But you don't gain life. But it's part of him. Part of it. Pretty cool. I like it. Illness... In the ranks for one enchantment, creature tokens get minus one, minus one. That's pretty awesome. I didn't know that card was even available. All right, crowned Sertok. We all know what the Sertoks do. Foundry champion for six. Creature elemental soldier. Wow. When it foundry champion enters the battlefield. It deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of creatures you control. Wow. And then you can pump them up and give them some defense for red or white. Red gives you plus one. White gives you plus, plus zero plus one until end of turn. Each of those are for until end of turn. Oh, we don't have it. Yes, we do. See that? That beautiful foiling. Can you see that through there? You! Oh, uh, Grizzly Spectacle. Grizzly Spectacle. Oh, it's so beautiful. Soldier token in a mountain. That's beautiful. I don't know why I haven't been sleeping anything. I've just been enjoying the cards. Nothing wrong with that, right? That's why we do it. I enjoy the cards. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. I do believe I have a little thingy right here. Oh, right there. Get it. Rub it. Yeah. Hit that button right there. Okay. All right. We are into Oath of the Gate. Well, uh, constructs and cool. Shoulder. Witness the end. Netscape Spider, Gozelec Shrieker, there we go, Oblivion Strike, I'm trying to pull an Oblivion Stone, I don't think it's in the set though, that's pretty cool, Goblin Free Runner, he's running free, oh, I love the Wastelands, look at that, it's beautiful, full art, yeah buddy, alright, Tranquil Expanse, that's what I'm talking about. That tranquil expanse. Allied reinforcements. All right. Iona's blessing. Oath of holy snikes. <gasps> boom to boom. Oath of Nissa. What? Who's your daddy now? You. And we got another foil. Cinder Hellion with a full art swamp. What? Beautiful with the Eldrazi Soyon. You that's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, with the Nissa's pretty penny. Know that for a fact, Jack. 
Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Uh, oh, the Nissa what? Uh, you. All right. Next pack, dragons. I love me some dragons. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, he's on the cards. Okay. Call it a he, it's a she. Most dragons are. Shapes of Sands, Butchers, Glee, Hardened Berserkers, Servant of the Scale, Duress, Pinion Feast, City Seas Faithful, Learning Agus. These cards feel different, definitely. Deerger Nemesis, Champion of Arishan. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Grace Blade Artisan. Very nice artwork. I like that. I hope y'all are able to see that. Alright, there's that. Self inflicted wound. Yeah, he looks like he's stabbing himself in the damn throat. That'd leave a mark. Lurking Larry Aaron Inks. Cat beast. Bottom line. All right. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Spirit. An offensa. Kin tree spirit. I'm not sure what she's worth, but she is a legendary creature, so I'm bringing it for that. When another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, bolster one. Choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control and put a 1-1 counter on it. That'll be some good stuff for the coming up set of Theros because they're going to do that. Um, Re-enter the battlefield. So, I think Bolster will be a pretty good thing. And we've got the Digin Monk in the forest. I know I've heard of this card before. But you know where I probably heard it? Was Commander's Quarters. I wouldn't doubt it. But maybe it was another channel too. Alright, last pack. Return to return to Ravnica. Yep. Looks good. Hope you all enjoyed the show tonight. It is Posy coming to you live from the Casa. Eyes in the sky, Goblin Electromancer, good card. Uh, Grizzly Savage, Azorius, Arrester, Explosive Impact, Mind Rot. There you go, Un uh, MTG Unpacked. Mind Rot, you'll might rot your mind out if you keep watching my stuff. That's a shout out to you, dude. I love your stuff. I watch it all the time. X Bane Guardian. Keening Apparition. Slum Reaper. There we go. I know that ceased play. To Horror. There's a battlefield. Each player sacrifices a creature. Another sacrifice. Yup. Selesnian Charm. There we go. Okay. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Rakdos Ringleader? Jesus, for six. Holy, at first strike, when a Rakdos Ringleader deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card at random. You can regenerate it. For one, yes, thank you very much. After you paid six, it should cost you one. And Niv Megas Elemental. Wow, look at that. Okay, so for one, creature elemental. There we go. The elemental thing around Chandra maybe or something. Exile an instant or sorcery spell you control. Put a 1-1 counter on Nivmegas elemental. That spell won't resolve. And it's 1-2. That's pretty cool. Here we got a junk token and a forest. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you liked. Oh, I'm psyched about that. Oh, I better put that in safe. 
All right, y'all have a great night. Be safe. And uh, thank you, Mr. Rivers. Have a great night. And uh, catch you in two or three days from now, I'm thinking. Try not to, though. Hurt myself. All right. Deuces.